What if Earth's atmosphere vanished instantly? No time to adapt, no gradual suffocation, just an invisible force field holding everything together, gone without warning. In space, a soft blue halo around Earth disappears in a flash. The line between sky and void vanishes. The planet doesn't explode, it exhales, and everything begins to die. You take a breath, but nothing enters your lungs. Air pressure drops to zero, and in that vacuum, the rules change. Fluids begin to boil at body temperature. Not just water, but saliva, the moisture in your eyes, even blood near the skin. You wouldn't explode like in the movies, but you'd swell, twitch, lose consciousness within 15 seconds. Your lungs collapse inward, your eardrums rupture, you never take another breath. And then, silence, true silence. With no air molecules, sound can't travel. Explosions go mute, engines stall. A planet built on combustion, cars, planes, fire, even speech, simply goes quiet. Birds drop mid-flight, airplanes fall from the sky, fires flicker once, then vanish. The wind, something we once cursed and admired, is gone forever. Above the sky turns black, not because the sun is gone, but because there's no atmosphere to scatter its light. Rayleigh's scattering is what paints our skies blue. Without it, you're left with space, cold, black, and infinite. But the blackness isn't peace. Without the ozone layer, ultraviolet rays and cosmic radiation stream down, unfiltered. In seconds, DNA begins to unravel. Cells die. Radiation sickness isn't slow anymore. Without pressure holding them down, oceans don't just sit still. They boil, slowly at first, then faster. Not from heat, but from vacuum. Steam rises into space, never to return. Earth, once blue and breathing, starts to lose its last resource, water. The clouds are gone, rain stops, weather dies. The planet's life support systems, pressure, water, protection, all collapse together. Eventually, even the hardiest microorganisms give in, not to heat or cold, but to exposure. There is no protection from the raw fury of space, no ecosystem, no biology, just rock, scorched and stripped, left to orbit a star that still shines as if nothing happened. The atmosphere is thin, just a fragile veil of gas stretching 100 kilometers above us. And yet, it's everything. Without it, there's no sound, no breath, no warmth, no life. We don't notice it, but it's all that stands between us and silence.